Are you tired of the subject in your images being out of frame, out of focus, and just plain out of control? Well, I've got a tip for you guys that's gonna give you full control over the composition in your AI images, and it doesn't even require extra setup. You can use Automatic 1111 and your favorite Stable Diffusion to achieve results like this. Let's do it. All right, so now that we are here in Automatic 1111 and you have Stable Diffusion all installed and you have your favorite models installed and you're a little bit familiar with the interface and all that, you're gonna go ahead and switch on over to your favorite image editing software. I'm gonna use Paint just to show you how simple it is. You can use Photoshop, you can use GIMP, you can use whatever you want. Um, but just for the purposes of this tutorial and to show you guys how simple it is, I'm just gonna use Paint. So that's what we're gonna do. I think for this image, I want to try to make a cool, um, maybe like a swordsman of some sort, uh, maybe samurai or something in a field standing. So what we're gonna do first is actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the field bucket. We're going to do uh, the sky color. That's pretty good for sky. Maybe we can go a little bit even lighter. And then we are going to switch to green for uh, a field. We want them to be standing in a field. Actually, you know what? Let's do let's do brown. Let's get a little bit crazy with it. All right. Okay. So now we have the basic shape and colors of what we want. What we're going to want to do next is actually switch over to the text mode, and we're going to just go ahead and bring up a little text. Uh, box here bring your font down to whatever size you need um, to be able to fit it inside of your area that you want it to describe so this is going to be a swordsman um, and then we are going to so there's our image uh, also just so you know before I started I did make sure to make my image size to 512 by 512 if you want to do that yourself you click right here on paint click on pixels and then make sure it's set 512 to 512. You can do 768 by 768. You don't really need to. We're gonna go ahead and save as PNG. We're gonna do test four. And I'll show you guys the other test images I did earlier because they really turned out super great. I'll put those at the end of the video if you wanna see, so stick around to the end, see what you can do. But all right, so now we are back into our stable diffusion. Um, we have anything, um, version 4.5 model selected right now. Um, and that is gonna be uh, one of the models that I really like, especially for anime style type things. Um, but honestly, a lot of these, a lot of these models will work. Um, so just experiment, try it out with different models. But I'm gonna show you guys the preferable settings to get some cool results. And we're gonna see what we can generate with the image that we just created. So we're gonna jump over to image to image. And we are going to um, drop our new image in here. This is going to be it. Make sure that we are 512 by 512. I'm going to go down and go to DPM plus plus SDE Chiris. And we're going to jump up to about 50. I know that's a lot of sampling steps for some people. But for our, uh, for our needs, it's going, to be, it's going to be perfect. So CFG, we're going to leave it at 7. Uh, denoising strength, we're going to leave it at 0.75. I know that's pretty high on the, point set, on the denoising. And I know it's kind of low on CFG. but for these purposes, I think you're really gonna like the kind of uh, results that you get. Leave everything else default. And um, now we are going to put a little bit of some kind of generic overall good terms to have in your negative prompt, blurry, cropped, deformed, missing limbs, floating limbs, stuff like that. Uh, obviously, if you have a female character, remove female. Um, but I can put these lists of uh, negative prompts in the uh, description for you guys. If you want, you can copy and paste them. And the next thing you're going to want to do is figure out how you want to describe your picture. Okay, so I was zoomed in a little bit um, and I did not realize that I had cut off some of the image. Um, so that's fine. Not really that big of a deal. I'm just going to extend his robe down and there we go. All right, so now we need to do a basic description of our image that we just created. A swordsman standing in a field with brown grass, holding a sword, beautiful sky in the background, wearing a black and red robe with a red beard on his chin and red hair on his head, looking at the camera. Okay, so that's what we got. Let's generate our first image and see what we get. All right. All right, so already you can see that it's significantly different from what we initially said. Uh, we've got the field, we've got the blue skies, we've got the sun, 
the composition is correct. Um, I would say that the body shape is a little bit off, so we can generate some more. Um, it is one of those things that's gonna take a little bit of time to refine. The more you generate, the closer you'll get. Sometimes it's a little bit of luck that, that comes into play, and sometimes you can adjust uh, some of these settings down here. I don't think I would go very low on the denoising. Maybe I wouldn't go lower than 0.7 because you'll start to get way more of results that are closer to your crew drawing, which is kind of opposite of what we're looking here, looking to do here. Um, so we'll drop it down a little bit and see exactly what we can get away with in terms of denoising. But I would not go very far. Um, but I'm trying to get that that pose there. There we go. Now we've got the pose. So they, as you can see. We have our swordsman. He's in a brown field. The sun's where we wants to be. He's holding his sword out to the side the way that we wanted. I mean, look at the initial image versus the output result. And I mean, this is just the beginning. I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. Please tweet at me uh, at this Twitter handle and um, let me know what you guys come up with it because one of the hardest things about generating ai images is really the composition sometimes you can get images that are just completely the subject is just completely off frame i could be generating an image of luffy and i could just get the tip of his finger in the picture it's crazy so being able to take control of the compositions and really have power over where our character is at in, re in relation to the camera and just in the overall composition is super, super powerful posing and stuff. And it doesn't take a lot of effort. You can do this with uh, automatic 1111. You can do this with multiple stable diffusion models. Different models work better than others. Um, I have found that Protogen Anime and, uh, model works and the Anything model works and the Mid-Journey mid model works. So just try out different models. Let me know what you all think. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you watching. Let me know if you want more content like this and, um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.